Caden has returned with another package, and this time we will see what is inside. Uh, right here, I think this is a letter attached to the outside of the box. Uh, it's saying, uh, lift, l letter inside out. Um, so I'm trying to make sure I can get this open to get the letter. I think this is the letter. Interesting way to put the letter on, my man. Um, I've never thought of this. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, Caden, he has sent awesome stuff in the past. He is a friend of the channel. And let's, let's see. Oh, no, my tearing it. Ooh. Okay, is it? Okay, okay. I was worried. Oh, it's like a little pouch. It's so cool. Um, okay. Let us see. That's actually, I'm going to steal that idea next time. I forget to pack a letter in. I'm just gonna like make a little pouch and put the letter in a pouch outside the box. Uh, it's a really clever idea. Um, anyways, here is the letter. Dear, <clears throat> okay. Dear JCC2224, life's good, I'm making a book. Started my own business making customs. Made movie props, custom made movie props. I can't read, I read it wrong. Um, <laughs> here's some in the box and my favorite TV shows on Netflix got their new seasons, Arrow and Flash and DC Legends of Tomorrow. You should watch them, but I'm warning you for Legends, the last episode of season four will make you cry. I've never watched the uh, Arrowverse, I think is what it's called. I might check it out, I don't know. Um, I might check that out though, since he recommended it. Um, and I got on my school's football team. Oh, that's awesome. And sorry, I made the helmet 500 first. I had no orange spray paint. Ooh, there's, ooh. Um, I like the 500 first. And I got a new gaming setup with a blue Yeti mic and a mechanical arm and pop filter. Pop filters are important. I should probably get one of those. An LED light behind my monitor and gaming keyboard and gaming mouse. That's an awesome setup. From Caden, Star Wars guy. Thank you so much, Caden. I'm excited to see what this helmet is. Um... Making props, huh? That'll be interesting. Okay, that's a lot of tape. That's a lot of that's a lot of fish. That's a lot of tape. I love the. Well, I don't love the original Godzilla movie, but I have some toys from the original movie. I have Godzilla and I have like her babies. Um, they're actually really cool toys. Uh, I might make a video on them one day. Alrighty. <clears throat> Who's this? Another letter? Let's see. We got double letters. Man, I don't know how to open these. I'm so awful. Am I getting it? Am I getting it? Is it not going to tear this time? Oh, dang it. Oh, well, I tried. Um, alrighty. Looks like we got a double letter. A double letter time. Dear JCC2224, since your last video, I've been going on my golf cart with a pillow and a blanket and binge watching your videos. <laughs> Dude, that is awesome. Uh, and thinking with my thoughts. And also, my dog has started to calm down and it's cuddling with me like a stuffed animal. She's so cute. Aw, uh, aren't animals just a blessing? I love my cat. Um, anyway, there's not that many action figures in the box. Most are some 3D printed Star Wars props. That's exciting. One's a helmet and the other's DC-17 blaster pistol. Anyway, I hope you uh, like them and have fun. Oh man, I'm actually really excited to see what's in here. Um, 3D printed, huh? Let us see. Alrighty. So first up, we have, ooh, here's the helmet. It's looking pretty neat. Yeah, I'm really liking that. Well, you can tell it's 3D printed. Um, yeah, I've never actually held anything 3D printed before. Um, so this is pretty interesting feeling. You can see it looks like um, there's like glue in there for the visor. So that might be able to come out. And I might be able to uh, put a visor in there someday. I'm not sure that is. Caden, let me know um, if that's like something I might be able to remove for a visor or something. That's really cool. I'm not familiar with 3D printed stuff at all. But I really do enjoy this. I remember you, uh, I think you sent me pictures of this if I'm not mistaken. I get so many messages. Sometimes I confuse them. Um, we have a little Starfighter here. Um, I don't remember which version this is. It's pretty yellowed. But it's uh, pretty cool though. It's kind of like Yoda's. Sort of reminds me of Yoda's. I don't think it's Yoda's though. That's a really like non-Yoda seat. But yeah, that's actually pretty neat. Um, I might get some awesome use out of that. What else we got in here? We got a black. This will this will be some nice pieces that'll go in the in the bin of pieces. It'll be nice to have that helmet. It's almost like a shadow stormtrooper. But he's kind of got a deco going on and no hands. He will definitely be useful among my parts. Um, I'm seeing a figure in here I don't have. This is actually exciting. I never got around to getting this. Um, I guess I can just add this with my Imperials and keep the helmet on. Because, like, it's an Imperial cadet. 
Like it's a, a kid training as an Imperial cadet, but it's Ezra Bridger. He's disguised as an Imperial cadet. So it's like if you put like Stormtrooper Han Solos and all that with your Imperials, like why not put, you know, Cadet Ezra? That should be a really nice figure to have. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Uh, what else we got in here? We got... Oh, this is the other piece. I've never... Call me a fake fan or whatever, but I do not remember this vehicle. For the life of me, I don't. Um, it looks like it's kind of like the... Oh, it's a Clone Wars, isn't it? It's like a Clone Wars. I'm not too familiar with the Clone Wars vehicles. Because around the time when the Clone Wars came out, I was more so into Lego. Yeah, 2008. So, when it comes to Clone Wars, I bought some figures, but I was really into the Lego. Um, and I didn't pay attention to the vehicles much. Ooh, it's a Bark Speeder. I can always use more Bark Speeders. I mean, who can't? That's awesome. Caden, thanks a lot. Um, oh, my God! This is so cool! Okay, I really like the helmet, but I love this way more. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's Rex's pistol. It's really... The 3D printing stuff is really interesting. Like, it's... Like, you can kind of scratch on it. And it makes, like, an interesting noise. Yeah, it's really cool, man. I really do like that. That's an awesome prop. That is so cool. Oh, man, it's sweet. What else we got in here? We got... One of these, um... Disney figurines, I think. One of, like, the Disney Store figurines. It's Captain Phasma. That's really cute. I do like that. I will put that with my random Star Wars toy things. Reaching in and just pulling out, we have... Oop, fodder clone body. Uh, he's been... Oh, I actually really, really kind of dig the color on that. <laughs> I like the black and the purple. Hey, Skywarp is one of the best, you know, Transformers. So, like, black and purple. I just immediately think, oh, Skywarp. So, that's... One. What else we got in here? We got... Oh! Oh, dang, Astro McFans are going to absolutely hate me because I don't know the name of this one. Oh, my God, I feel awful. Um, but I do not have this Astro It's a Clone Wars Astro This is really awesome. He's got his arm. Does he have his other little... Oh, he's got his other little thing. That's so cool. There is his name. That is who he is. I do not remember right now. I'm not an Astro McFan. fan. Uh, clearly, I'm a Clone Trooper guy. I'm not an Astro McFan. fan. Or I, I like Astro but I'm not like an Astro guy. I'm not a diehard that collects them. Uh, I think I saw another Astromic in here. Um, oh, this is really cool. Um, it's the Build-A-Droid version, I could tell. Because it has a red foot. Um, I don't remember... I think I have kind of a figure of this uh, Astromic, but I'll definitely take another. I love the red R2-D2 look. So yeah, he's really cool. Awesome, thanks. I know I don't have this exact figure. I know I don't have this exact one. So that'll be awesome, Caden. Thanks a lot. Um, and then that's it. There we go. That is the box. So, yeah, Caden, yet again, sending some pretty awesome stuff my way. Um, I'm really digging this helmet. Um, I'm not sure if this is just a part of, like, the 3D printing process. But a part of me, almost like seeing them as, like, blaster holes, I kind of dig the look of that. Um, and yet again, I don't know I don't know anything about the process of 3D printing. So, I don't know if that was, like, what happened to fill the hole. Like, if the model was had a hole or whatever. But it looks pretty neat. Um, if you don't mind, Caden, I may actually, like, paint this up a little more. I'll keep it as, like, this cool 501st look. Because it's, like, it's like it's a 501st trooper, right? Mixed with, like, a shock trooper. And, like, it has the color, uh, like, the layout of, like, the incinerator storm trooper. But it's a 501st. And I really dig that. Um, but, yeah, I might actually work on this more. It looks like he's got a little bit of a crack right there. But that's okay. You won't be able to see that. That's really nice. Um... That's actually a really nice art project. It's awesome that I've never, like, held anything 3D printed before. Um, this I love, though. This looks sublime. Oh, I really do like this. Uh, DC-17, Captain Rex's pistol. I love that. And then a uh, pretty interesting vehicle I might be able to get some use out of um, with, like, maybe making it a custom, like, crashed or something. And another bark speeder. I could always use another one of those. Uh, some more fodder bodies uh, that I will put in the drawer. They will uh, eventually get new life. Uh, and then a few figures here that are completely new to my collection. Uh, Cadet Ezra, Astromic, and then this Astromic. And, to, no, you're not going to stand up, are you? Well, it would help if you maybe position his legs properly. And then, little Captain Phasma, and there we go! There's the haul. Caden, you, you, you don't have to do this, man. This is awesome stuff. I really do appreciate it. Um, so if you want to send anything in the P.O. box, um, okay. 
I know I I know I sometimes struggle to do this. Let's see if maybe I can um how can I do this? Uh oh, that didn't work. No. 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 Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's the address. Uh if you want to send me anything, uh send it that way and I check the PO box about like every Thursday or Friday. So um, I'll let you know, you know, hey, I got your box. Uh, I check the P.O. box every Thursday or Friday, so I make sure that, you know, nothing gets sent back. Even though if anything you've ever sent me gets sent back, let me know so we can, you know, make sure that things aren't getting lost or whatever. But yeah, thank you so much, Caden, yet again. More awesome stuff. I really do love it. I love the support, and I'm, I'm just so... I'm still just kind of blown away that... I've had how many P.O. Box episodes now? Well over 20, I know. It's ridiculous. Uh, well, it's not ridiculous. I mean, I love you guys. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my social media links down in the description below. Have a good day, and as always, may the force be with you. Bye.